Oh, straight in, all right. Oh, okay. Hi, welcome back. I'm Brain Era, and today we are playing The Terrible Old Man, which is a Lovecraftian story. And it is made by the same dev who made the Midnight Scenes games. So this is one of their very first, I believe, so I'm not expecting too much. But I was very excited to see this for free anyway on Steam. So I thought, let's have a little look at it. Um, I also saw, I am not very well versed in uh, Lovecraft. I can't stand the man. I do know that, um, you know, Cthulhu and all that. I do know the big, the big guns. But um, I am not very well versed in a lot of his other stuff. So apparently this is one of his weaker stories I've been told. I have no idea. So I'm going in completely blind. But it just, you know, it sounded intriguing. So why does it say continue? Uh, new game. So, Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long are we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham? That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Incredible. Boo! <laughs> Chanek, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will, maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old Manuel spent better old Manuel here spends it on hooch than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. This is really hard to read, by the way. Damn right. Well then, get, some, get us some beers, boy. Left click to interact, right click to observe. For inventory and settings, move cursor to top screen. I love that. I love that mechanic. This is one of my favorites. Right. I don't want to endure small talk with the locals of this sport. Alright. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folks here are nice in Kingsport. Kingsport or Kingsport? We look after each other. Three beers. Please? Hmm. <laughs> That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. That's cheap. Where's the beers? Uh, do I have it on me? No. Oh, two dollars. Sorry, I have to actually physically give it. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel's dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. Ah. Uh, Dicky eating his dinner yet? Whoa. I swear, we said a. We sat a whole chocolate cake in front of this face, and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. You taking him to Doc Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his running with that old fella the other night. We shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know, that very old man? A former sea captain of some sort. You see him around town. Pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he, he's lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Maid Alice. Aww, was he from the Mighty Boosh? <laughs> With Coconut Joe? It's as if he is speaking to his old crew. Yeah, a most peculiar chap. Best avoid it, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dickie. Bit of respect. So what happened was Dickie threw a stone at his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. Go around throw- He- Yeah, you go around throwing stones through old people's windows and, well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. 
I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. Must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Oh, I bet these guys are gonna um, go to the old man and steal his treasure, right? Tell me about it. I heard he captained, a cli he captained clipper ships in the east uncountable years back. And bought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Mm, three for two. That's quite a deal. It is. Thanks. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You got a date with a broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Hmm, heck. <laughs> Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. And a rich and senile old fart. <laughs> Sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, he didn't say. Find out, says Neck. Find out and we may find riches tonight. Sometimes I read it and I think that I misread it, but it's actually written that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Oh, leave me alone, greaseball. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere. Maybe to your mother. Ooh. Ha! Struck out again, Chesnack. <laughs> Yeah, suit yourself. Mm. Good for you, lady. Uh, oh yeah, old man. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane dropping gold all over the show. Mm, where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to go see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? Uh, yes, why not? Ha! <laughs> Get out of here, you bum! We don't want no thieves stinking up our town. Aw, oh, shit! Yeah, get out of here, before I get the town guard. No, no, I mean, well, yes, I appreciate treasures like every other man out there. I have no intention of robbing the old goat. Well then, why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you, outsiders? Um, we wish to interview him for the local paper. Oh yes, what's the name of the local paper then? I don't know, the Kingsport Commune? <laughs> Wrong! Really? You, sir, are a pathological liar. Aw, oh, crap. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? Oh, we could just keep going? Hmm. Um. Where is long lost relatives? You expect us to believe that? You're clearly not of Kingsport stock. Fine, I'll just keep going. <laughs> uh, we found something. What's the item? An old ornament. Let's have a look then. Um, it's out in the car. Bulldust. Get out of here. Fuck's sake. Uh, we are traveling salesmen. Oh yes, what are you selling? Shoes. Can we have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure thing, I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Lies, lies from tiny eyes. So which one then? Uh, local paper was a bust. We're from the tax department. He owes us money. Then surely you would have his address on file. Get lost. Okay, so that's not gonna work with them. Um, do you know about... Uh... Yeah, do you know about a rich old man who lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pah. Okay, tell me about those two guys at the bar. Hey, we're right here. Mind your own business, stranger. <laughs> what he said. 
What can you tell me about that broad over there? She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Later. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Oh yeah, do we? Shit. Well, I fucked it up, guys. I'm already dreaming of spending gold doubloons, Chenek. What are you gonna buy, Manuel? A dog. One of them real fancy ones. Gonna name him Jackson. We all have our dreams. <laughs> you got the address yet? I'm working on it. Yeah, so how am I gonna get the address if they... Oh, pictures. They've tried to decorate this dump with some old prints. Hmm, this picture has a caption. A local Kingsbridge fisherman. Oh, is that him? There's nothing interesting here, just dusty pictures of local goons. Okay, so... Oh, what's behind the curtains? I don't want to look outside. Oh, okay, sorry. Do you want uh, an another refill? He's gonna kick our asses out of the door if I start helping myself as much as I'd like to. <laughs> Talk to the lady again, I guess? Not you again, I'm busy. Yeah, what you working on? Apart from looking pretty. <sighs> well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah, what is your vocation? I'm a journalist. Whoa, big shot. <sighs> Why am I talking to you? <laughs> Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport's Daily Star. <sighs> Interesting. I get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay. Put your knickers back on, lady. Hello again? I want to write- See, the local paper was a good shot. I just didn't know which one it was. Right, now it says so. I got mixed up before. We are from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up at Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street, near the shore. Outside his home are curious foreign standing stones. An unmistakable sight. Thanks, I appreciate it. Cool. <laughs> the old man won't know what hit him. Got the address. Tell us I got the address. Good work, Sandy boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street, by the harbor. Hey, we passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Hmm. Oh. For a second I thought it wasn't recording. That was even scarier than the story. Alright, we're here. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and I will go in through this here gate. Sanek, you stay and watch. Okay. Before we do anything though, looks like there's a light on up there. Sanek, can you have a better look? Gotta make sure he ain't watching us. Let's go through the gate. <laughs> I'm not messing with the gate until we're set to go. Well, we could try climbing our... Uh, climbing over using that street pole. But the gate seems a more conventional choice. So, where do I go? Just here? Window? It's too far away, I ain't climbing up there. Hmm, the stones are on the other side of this wall, I ain't going in there. So what do you want me to do? Climb the wall? Oh, trunk. Mm, the trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Oh. Say, Richie, you don't have the key for the trunk in you, do you? No, I don't. Don't tell me you've lost the goddamn key, Zanek. No, no. Oh, d oh, I do have the key. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ain't time to leave. You have a trunk. Good face. Doesn't fit. This key is just for, for the ignition. Oh, okay. Right, so I did lose it then. Can I un unclick you? Okay. 
So how do you want me to look at stuff? House. The old man's house looks ancient. We don't have houses like that where I come from, that's for sure. I bet it smells in there. Must still have rotten socks or some such. There's... It just says it's too far away, so what do you want me to do? Uh, what do you think of this place? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. Hey, let's gab and get to work, Sanic. Where do you think those standing stones are from? Beats me. They give me the creeps. Do you have the key for the trunk? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Thank you. Finally. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay, a good robber always comes prepared. What's in the trunk? What's in the trunk? We got a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. Nice. Can I put the mask on? I won't. Uh, that will not achieve anything. No, I know. I just wanted to put it on. No? Alright. Then I'm gonna spyglass at the window. Ew. There he is, talking to his bottles. He's gonna look at us. No? Okay. Ah, he's in there. The silly old fool looks like the easiest target we've ever had. Good work, Sanek. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He is engrossed in his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. Got our mask then? Yep. <laughs> no, stop. Here. Here's the masks. Don't forget to take your hat off. Okay, get the gate open. Kruber! Yes! Ha! We're in! Good work, Sanek. Okay, Silva, let's go in. How are we gonna play, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him walk, uh, talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as seen now as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. I think he's got powers. Don't go too hard on the old goat. <laughs> we'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Silva, you've hit the nail on the head. Sanek, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Richie. Remember, be gentle. At least Sanek kind of cares. Ow, my ears. Oh. The light went out. It's behind my head, so... It's still out. What the hell is taking them so long? I don't know. Alright. What's happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them. I told them. I said don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, here they come. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talk oh, Kingsport. all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. Wow. I guess that's the end. Oh, 
and some people Thank even you. spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably inhuman. of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring than the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Hmm. Well, that was that, I guess. The end. You think there's a... Oh. You think there's a way to... Save them? I don't think there's multiple endings. But that was quite nice, you know, for a free game. Um, I really liked it. And it was one of his first, so... Yeah. Like I said, I wasn't expecting too much. Oh, this is where it starts. That's right. Oh, of course, there's the kid. Now I get it. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting too much. And it basically was kind of what I envisioned it being. So... Very interesting, um, short but sweet, writing was okay, um, it was a little bit hard to read because there was no background to the text, but um, yeah, it was alright, I quite enjoyed it, um, and again, it was free, so who gives a shit, right? Anyway, let me know what you think as always, and I will see you when I see you. Mm.